Hey everybody, it's Sharon here from TheGameYak.com. Here we are today back in Ghostscape grabbing the Speedy Solver achievement. This is to beat the game in under 20 minutes, the speed running achievement, if you will. First up, head up to the front steps of the mansion. Make sure you grab the crowbar from the statue to the right. Use this thing to bust open the planks and get access to the mansion. Once you're inside, make sure you hang a right, go through the dining room into the kitchen, grab the ladder in the corner right here, and then take this up to the second floor. You want to use this on the hatch up there to get access to the attic. This will save us a bunch of time later when we actually have to go up there since we don't have to fumble around our inventory. Back down to the second floor, go into the bedroom on the right, hit up the first chest, combination 6294. Grab your first key and your first candle. This key is going to open up the basement, so you have to head back down to the first floor. Use this on the door with a deer skull on top of it. It's going to be the cellar key and then this should give us access to the second chest it should be to the left of the stairwell combination 7832 this gives us another key and an, another candle this key is going to open up the bedroom on the left so back up to the second floor use the bedroom key open this up and then you hit up the third chest combination for this one is going to be 1006 this gives us the key to the pantry which is going to be located back in the kitchen so take this back down to the first floor and then hang a right through the dining room into the kitchen pantry is going to be that left locked door so use the key on that quickly switch out in your inventory once you're in there you want to switch back to the crowbar and then you want to use it on the hatch to get access to one of the caverns this cavern is going to have your next candle so make sure you pick that one up and then we're going to backtrack all the way up to the second floor and once you're up there you want to go to the far right door which is the bathroom you should get locked in but there is a key to the left right here in the flower pot which should free you and more importantly the candle on the right so make sure you pick that up and now that we have all of the candles from downstairs we can head up to the attic once you're in the attic make sure you switch on over to the camera so we don't have to mess about our inventory later when we summon the ghost quickly turn your attention to the left there's another chest right here with the last candle in it combination 9385 once you grab the last candle the ghost should appear it might take a while so be a little patient but once he does appear just snap a pic of him and he should drop the key to the back room which is going to be located in the kitchen so backtrack down to the first floor through the dining room through the kitchen locked door on the back right use the back room room key and then this should give you access to this place now the time that you want to spend the most on is going to be solving this puzzle to get access to the backyard you have to do three jigsaw puzzles first one's pretty easy since it's only a few pieces second one's a little harder but it's easy to figure out the combination horns and blanks go on the sides and then just picture the two skull stacks and then you should be good on that one now the third one is going to be the trickiest and this is my best advice first off the pieces with the skulls try to put those in the top center and then try to work around the horns after you do that you want to do the two small skulls on the sides and then focus on the mouth pieces on the bottom and you could slowly piece it together so the middle is definitely the trickiest and that's where you want to spend the majority of your time granted by now you should be about maybe five minutes into the run so try to aim for about eight minutes or so to solve these puzzles and you should be good it's nothing too too hard especially once you get those border pieces out of the way and you can kind of backwards engineer the middle but once you manage to solve it the backyard should open up and then we can quickly run there go into the shed and then here is your second puzzle which you want to spend the next majority of your time doing all you have to do is just pick up the phone use the accelerometer and tilt controls you have to pretty much turn the dial until the light in the middle starts blinking green once it starts blinking green you have to hold the phone in that spot until the lock unlocks so it's a little hard especially if you have shaky hands but eventually once you manage to get all three locks done you have access to the last chest combination 5357 this should give you the front door key and then quickly sprint to the front door so just backtrack the way you came all the way back just make sure you look for those doors once you get back here you should be able to beat the game i managed to do this in about 13 or so minutes so you should definitely have enough room for a margin of error but once you manage to get under 20 20, you should get the achievement 10 gamer score and that's all there is to it